Did you know that you have a blood-brain barrier? Through this film we want to make you aware of the existence of the blood-brain barrier and how important it is to safely enhance the blood-to-brain delivery of drugs. If we can do this, we shall take a big step forward in fighting brain diseases. The blood-brain barrier is located in the walls of the blood vessels in the brain, which are over 600 kilometers long. It lets nutrients pass from the blood into the brain, but keeps harmful components such as bacteria, viruses and drugs out. My name is Elke de Vries, I'm a professor at the VU Medical Center and my research group is interested in the functioning of the so-called blood-brain barrier in neurological disorders. The blood-brain barrier was originally discovered by a guy called Paul Ehrlich and he was uh, interested in how dyes, so staining, staining material, could visualize the blood vessels in an organ. And what he found, he injected a blue dye into an experimental animal and what he found is that everything turned blue in this animal but the brain. And he thought, well, that this particular dye could not bind to the brain cells and therefore he did not believe what he saw. However, his student, Adam Goldman, who was his successor, didn't believe his supervisor. And what happened is that he did the inverse experiment. So what he did, he basically repeated the first experiment. He injected a blue dye into an experimental animal and everything turned blue but the brain, but also when he injected the blue dye into the brain of an experimental animal, he saw that the brain indeed was able to bind the dye because it turned blue, but not the rest of the organs. And that was basically the discovery of the presence of a barrier between the blood and the brain. One of the disorders we study here within the lab is the so-called disease multiple sclerosis, which is a neuroinflammatory disease, which means that immune cells gain access to the brain and cause damage there. We hope to find new ways to limit uh, so-called lesion progression in uh, patients with uh, MS. I'm Peter Gaillard, I'm a biomedical scientist and a biopharmaceutical scientist by training. Several years ago I started the company 2BBB because I wanted to create new treatments for brain diseases. Developing drugs for brain diseases is very difficult because the brain is very well protected by a biological firewall, the blood-brain barrier. And that barrier keeps out many drugs uh, and other compounds from the bloodstream that could be dangerous for your brain. And because of that reason, Many diseases in the brain, like Alzheimer, stroke, brain cancers, are not well treated. And as a result, there's a lot of cost for society. The European Brain Council calculated that annually, every year, we spend 960 billion euros on brain diseases. And this is about 10 times more than cancer or heart diseases. The biggest hurdle in drug development is to find an entry point that is safe and effective for the drug to enter the brain. Opening the barrier is not an option. That's too dangerous for the brain. Another difficulty is to actually make and test the drugs for brain uptake. That can take a lot of time. We came up with using a simple body-owned nutrient that we coated around drug-loaded particles. And by coating these particles with a compound that the brain needs, we got more of the drug into the brain. Using existing building blocks of drug-loaded particles and body on compounds, we were able to develop our first product in a very short time. That product is now being tested in brain cancer patients and our first results look very promising. And with this first product we want to develop more products for other brain diseases as well. since I was eight years old. It's in the brainstem and it can get out. I had surgery when I was nine and ten years old to try to get it smaller. Now it's stable and I try to create a suitable life 
despite of all the handicaps I got from it. It makes life more difficult and hard for me and people around me. I think brain research and research for diseases in the brain is very necessary. Hopefully, in a few years, life's going to be much easier for people with my disease. My name is Esther Hosley. I'm head of the science department of the Netherlands Brain Foundation. The Netherlands Brain Foundation is a charity. Our mission is to keep healthy brains healthy and to achieve effective treatments for brain disorders. We are proud that we have contributed to the development and growth of brain research in the past 25 years. We are now able to look inside the brain from the outside with techniques like CT and MRI. These techniques have brought us a wealth of new insights. We have contributed to new treatments of brain disorders. The existence of the blood-brain barrier is a major obstacle in the development of effective medicines against brain disorders. It blocks about 95% of the passage of medicines to the brain. But it also protects us from harmful substances. So we need to find ways to lift this barrier without literally taking it down. As a charity, it's our goal to help patients, today's patients and future patients. The eventual benefit for patients is central in all that we do. And from this perspective, it's, it's essential that we find ways to let effective medicines pass the blood-brain barrier so that effective medicines can reach the brains of patients. More research is needed to accomplish this. In fact, research is the only way to go if we want to reach this goal. And the more people are aware about the importance of the blood-brain barrier, the easier it will be to get the funding for the research we need to get done.